So I just finished my lunch and let's talk about how I shoot my Instagram photos. So first of all, all the Instagram photos from my account is shooting in my room. Basically, mostly it's in my room. Like last few days, I post some sick photos about a lot of things. So if you haven't checked my Instagram account, you should go and follow me and check my photos because some of it is pretty sick. So. So this morning I take a photo about Sony 16mm to 50mm lens so, so it's this small lens and looks the result is pretty good So if you haven't go check out this photo So you should definitely go check it out my Instagram account so you can see the photo I shoot this morning So I just found things I just want to shoot today in this video to teach you guys how I shoot my photos and how I put my life in different spots so I'm shooting about a power bank so this uh, so this is a power bank I'm using for my camera for all the things I'm charging of course this can charge a laptop fully from 0% to 100% so this definitely can keep me for traveling, for charging all my batteries because nowadays I have lots of battery. I have my phone, I have my drone, I have my headphones, my camera, my all the cameras and all the electronic things need to charge from this battery. So this is going with me anywhere. If I want to go for a shoot, I definitely will bring this. So firstly, I want to have a background so I want the white background so definitely I'll choose this background on here so I will go set it up and I'll bring you guys to show what things that I set it up and how I set it up so definitely first of all I gotta use this chair I'm sitting at so yes let's go and now take another piece of chair to put at the top so I have the white background on here so definitely you need a two chair if you have a table is high enough to shoot a white background or a wall you should definitely use your table it's much more easier to set it up and you don't need to bring two chairs and combine together yeah and think about it how you gonna put this battery on here so i definitely will put a things behind this battery to like stand it up so I'll find out things just a second. So I will choose a color to add some lights if you like. So this is the aperture lights. If you want to check it out, I can leave the link below in the bio. So, so there's a tons of different colors in this aperture MC. So it's very useful and I use it a lot. So so every day I'm shooting the photos, I will just use this lights. It's very useful. Of course, I'll add some background lights, this white lights, like this lights. So it seems like more cinematic lights. So if I want to say, of course, I'll a lot of different lights in here. So I will definitely use this all the lights in this photo shoot. Let's go set up this all the lights now. So let's see. So I already set up all the lights and here's the Aperture MC and here's the small lights, the white lights are here and here's the really small red lights behind the battery so, so we will see this photo is how it goes and I gotta take my camera to sit down and start shooting this photo So this is the first try I took the photos, it looks like this all the photos is the first try so because of this morning I already shoot some photos so all the settings is already set properly so basically I will jump into my laptop and edit and color grading and put some effects in there so you know, it looks better than shooting out of this camera so you definitely need to color grade all the photos if it's me I will color grading and the post on Instagram so Let's jump into our computer. So I pull the image into this system. So let's rotate, convert, and let's zoom it in a little bit. So first of all, I want to use a curve. So 
basically curve looks like this and I would definitely to pull it down to look more better and looks more cinematic photos so I'll pull it down a little bit and pull the red up maybe down because it's a bit too red so let's see before and after it looks pretty decent so I would suppose like pull a bit green up a little bit so so of course you don't want to pull it too high because it looks fully green or it looks sucks so so when you are color grading make sure you don't go too crazy so if you are color grading like this this before and after the left side is after the before is on the right side so basically it looks better and look at this like black side is looks more cinematic and looks more natural because when you're adding some lights of course there's some noise in your camera so make sure you do the color grading correctly so it's about all the curve and let's press ok so the next one is exposure so the exposure is a black level to go higher higher is darker of course and the lower is brighter so I think I'll go for 5 or 3 I think I'll go with 5 so it looks better and exposure is the brightness the image you want to do so of course you are shooting this kind of image of course you are shooting a subject of course you want the brightness but not going too bright or it will go overexposed so make sure you go not too crazy with this so I'll say about 500 will be good so 500 or 250 I think 250 will be looks good like decent or I don't know you just need to play around with this color grading system so make sure you are not too dark not too bright I think I'll go with 2 or it looks more natural and of course the brightness and the contrast so the brightness is the image again so it's more general so I'll go with negative 2 yes and the contrast is the black and just pop up the color a bit so it looks more better when you are look before and after of course the left side is after the before is a right side as you see the left side and the right side the black blend is different so I suppose the after is better so I'll press OK and that's all it is so this is from the basics like the first the second the third the fourth and that's a result so let's export this photos so I'll add 09 and on the desktop so go with the highest quality as you can and use the Yes, so I'll go with 100 and let's export finish. So let's see before and after what it looks like. So this is the two photos before and after. The left side is before and the right side is after. So basically the background is a bit like not very clear like the black things on the wall like here and this things I need to clean it up so so basically it's like this and before and after photos so it looks better of course and the lights is I bring it up a little bit and the color I bring it down just a little but it looks better like so all in all this is how I took my photos and color grading my photos so this is the step by step so from I'm setting up at here and from to a laptop to color grade and add some light and of course that's all it is so thanks for hanging out with me like go through all the steps and i think that's all for today and i'll see you next week peace